right. Hello, music therapist. This is Heather Wagner from the COVID-19 task force. We thought it was good to do a quick overview and update of some masking procedures and new masks that are emerging in the past several months that you might consider for your clinical work as we come back to the fall and um, some changes are happening, uh, in, at least in the United States, with different variants. So we thought it was good just to do a quick overview. Some of this information will be review. Some might be new to you. So remember, the whole purpose of masking is to limit droplet and aerosol spread. We also know that coupled with distance and good air return, masks can be very effective and can be used in your clinical practice and should be used in your clinical practice. But let's just talk about these different variations to help you decide what is best for you. So we know the gold standard, first of all, is the N95s with the respirator, but it is highly unlikely that most of you will be using these in your clinical practice. But there are the N95s, which are these masks um, that are like this, sort of the cone, that are named because they filter 95% of aerosol particulates. So for these to be the most effective, they should be fit tested to make sure they are sealed. If you're like me, the N95s that I've even been giving at healthcare, I've not been fitted for. So they're not perfect, but they're they're probably the highest caliber. So mine in particular goes over the head. Are you ready? I only did one for you. And some also will have the ear loops. But the idea when both sides are on is that there's a very good fit. There's the little cone there, so you get some not too bad to breathe, and it goes under the chin very well. The challenge that I have found personally with these is that it does get a little bit warm in there and it gets a little bit uh, difficult to sing, but I can tell you that even with these and a face shield, my face shield does sometimes fog up. So that does tell you that it's not a 100% seal. So just keep that in mind. So that's the N95 that are very common, but there's also the one called the KN95 and I don't have any of these here. They're called the K KN95 um, they're the same filtration level, but they're not yet approved by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, also called NIOSH. So it depends on where they're manufactured. They may not meet the same standards in the United States for filtration, but some have gotten emergency authorization for use in healthcare uh, facilities. What this means, though, is that that doesn't mean they're bad. They just haven't been NIOSH um, certified, but they're probably still, a, not probably, they are very likely a step up from your standard cotton masks. So keep that in mind. Those have been pretty popular. This KF94 is likely, if you're like me, it's a new one that I just learned about recently, and I have grown to love them. Again, not yet NIOSH um, certified or authorized in the United States, but um, I'm finding it to be a wonderful mask. So the, it's 94% filtration, so just 1% lower than the 95s. Um, the K stands for Korean filter. Now what I like about these and that you're going to see the difference, there's a couple of things. First of all, they are adjustable in themselves. They have a little notch. I don't know if that's very visible because I've got these black ones. And what you do is to tighten them, you just tuck the mask loop around that notch. Come around both ways. And I've tried these on my 13-year-old son, and it made a big difference. I don't know if you can see that at all. It made a big difference in fit. So it's built right in, which is pretty amazing. But what I'm really liking about these, particularly for my clinical work, is the shape. The way it goes around the face. So minor ear looped again. And then when you put it on, you take the flaps up and down. And I will model it for you here. <laughs> so it really covers my face in a way that other masks haven't been able. There is the metal nose piece here. And it is as snug as any mask has ever been on my face without digging in. And the other important thing is that when I wear these with the eye protection, with the face mask, and even when I wear them with my sunglasses, they don't fog. So that's telling me that I'm not getting a lot of air coming out. I mean, the fit is just incredible. So these, though they're not NIOSH um, approved, I'm using these most often. I'm... Um, 
and I've been pleased with these and it's sort of been a trend. There's been a lot of articles about them recently. Um, these you uh, right now I had to order online. The trick is, and I'll talk in a moment, is to find ones that are real, the real deal. <laughs> So of course, you know, your surgical masks, which are your standard, like when I go into many hospitals for work, this is what they give me. The problem with many surgical masks, as always, are fit, right? Because they're just, they're a one size fit all. I find mine move a lot when I sing, they come up and down my face. But I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial too on how to tighten them. And I did one side already. So you take the mask, sorry for the lighting, you fold each side in. Sorry, it's a little bright. Then you take the loop and you, I don't know what this knot is called, but I do it around my finger and I make a knot as tightly, as close to the edge of the mask as I can. Right, so I still have a loop on each side. I did one side already. Then when you open it, it's smaller. So when I put this on my face, there it is. No, it's going to be a little too small for my face. But this has been helpful with kids. See, it's a little small for my face, but it does tighten. The issue is, it might be hard to see, it does close over here, but there is still a bit of a gap. So just to be aware that um, depending, it's small, or it's too small for me, so it's difficult to see. It does uh, close that a bit with a smaller, with a better fit. But that's one way to make your surgical mask a little more effective if you're having trouble with size or with children. And then, of course, you've got all the different kinds of cotton masks. Um, one that I really like, the one that I use a lot, is one that has the filter inside. So it uses, and I do replace these. I just ordered a box of like 100 of them. You replace them with these uh, filters inside. So that's a nice feature. It's got the pocket. And then, of course, so it's triple, triple layered. And many of us are using the double layers as well. So this is a double layer mask, just a cotton um, across the face that way. So then there's lots and lots of these. So it's still two to three layers of cotton is recommended. A single layer is not recommended. Um, surgical mask, quick note, sorry, 64% effective. So you see quite a difference between the K, the, any of the 95s and the 94s. Cotton mask, we can't really... Uh, say how effective it is because there's such variability in each one but it's so important to have as little gaps as possible all around the face if it the n95s would be the ones that leave a mark around your face then you know it's pretty well fit um, the cdc does have a running list of all um, different approved and non-approved masks that they update regularly so they do have what's approved what's not approved and what are fake um, so I do recommend you take a look at that I'll try to put that link in for you but it's really important that you, when you're looking for masks to be sure that you're getting what you think you're paying for so trying to find reputable retailers um, making sure that you look at product reviews making sure that if things don't seem if something seems off, it probably is, right? And a check that the product listing and the URL match. And if you're not sure, double mask. So if you're really not sure the quality and you have any hesitation, you can always put two masks, masks on. Even two surgical masks are going to increase. Remember, we um, I'll throw it up real quick. We talked about uh, a while ago during one of our meetings, um, talked about the Swiss cheese model that every layer of protection helps to block more and more um, exposure to the virus. So the more you can, the more layers of cheese with the different holes in different places, the more safe we'll be. So thank you. I hope that was helpful and stay safe for both you and your family and your clients. Thank you.